The trapezius is one of the largest muscles in the back and is active during pulling and lifting. It has a proximal attachment on the occipital bone, the ligamentum nuque, and spinous processes C7 through T12, and a distal attachment on the clavicle, on the acromion process, and the spinous processes. The upper head elevates and up upwardly rotates the scapula, the lower head depresses the scapula, and the middle head retracts the scapula. The rhomboids, named for their shape, are deep tra to trapezius and have a proximal attachment on the spinous processes of C7 through T5 and distal attachments on the medial border of the scapula. The rhomboids work mostly for retraction of the scapula and as well as downward rotation. The levator scapulae has a proximal attachment on the transverse processes of C1 through C4 and a distal attachment on the superior angle of the scapula, and the levator scapulae works solely to elevate the scapula. Pectoralis major has a proximal attachment on the coracoid process of the scapula and a distal attachment on the anterior portions of ribs 3, 4, and 5. It works mostly for downward rotation and depression of the scapula, as well as protraction. The serratus anterior, aka the boxer's muscle, has a proximal attachment on ribs 1 through 9 and a distal attachment on the ventral surface of the medial border of the scapula. The serratus anterior protracts the scapula and also upwardly rotates the glenoid cavity. Latissimus dorsi is a large fan-shaped extrinsic muscle and is active during pull-ups and push-ups. It has a proximal attachment on the spinous processes of T6 through T12, the thoracumbular fascia, the iliac crest, and the inferior ribs, and a distal attachment on the intertubicular groove of the humerus. Latissimus dorsi extends the arm, adducts the arm, and also immediately rotates the humerus. Pectoralis major is a large fan-shaped chest muscle used during push-ups and doing bench presses. It has a proximal attachment on the costal cartilages of ribs 2 through 6, the body of the sternum, and the clavicle, and a distal attachment on the intertubicular groove of the humerus. It primarily adducts the arm and medially rotates the humerus, and is also used as part of arm flexion. Teres major forms the posterior axillary fold with latissimus dorsi. It has a proximal attachment on the inferior angle of the scapula and a distal attachment on the intertubercular groove of the humerus. Teres major extends, adducts, and medially rotates the humerus. The deltoid is a triangle-shaped muscle located over the top of the shoulder. It has a proximal attachment on the lateral third of the clavicle, the acromion process in the spine of the scapula, and a distal attachment on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. The anterior head flexes and medially rotates the arm, the middle head abducts the arm, and the posterior head extends and laterally rotates the arm. There are four muscles with a proximal attachment on the scapula that act on the shoulder joint. It's the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapulitis, and together they make up the rotator cuff muscles. Supraspinatus abducts the arm, infraspinatus and teres minor laterally rotate the arm, and subscapularis medially rotates the arm. The biceps brachii is the most superficial in the anterior arm. It has a proximal attachment to the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula and a distal attachment to the radial tuberosity and fascia of the forearm. The biceps brachii is a powerful supinator of the forearm. It also works to flex the elbow, and also flexes the arm at the shoulder joint. Coracobrachialis has a proximal attachment at the coracoid process of the scapula and a distal attachment at the proximal humeral shaft. Coracobrachialis weakly flexes the arm and also adducts the arm. Brachialis has a proximal attachment at the distal humeral shaft and a distal attachment at the ulnar tuberosity. Brachialis is the main flexor of the forearm at the elbow joint. Triceps brachii has a proximal attachment at the shaft of the humerus with the exception of the long head at the infraglenoid tubercle and a distal attachment at the olecranon process. The triceps brachii is primarily a forearm extensor and the long head of the triceps also extends the arm.
There are several lo muscles located in the anterior compartment of the forearm. Of these, flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and palmaris longus work to flex the wrist only. Other anterior forearm muscles work solely to flex the fingers. Flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus are responsible for the flexion of fingers 2 through 5, where flexor pollicis longus flexes the thumb. The pronator muscles, pronator teres and pronator quadratus, work to pronate the forearm. Like the anterior compartment, there are also several muscles located in the posterior compartment of the forearm. The extensor in carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi ulnaris, as well as extensor indices, all work to extend the wrist but not the fingers. There are four muscles that work for finger extension. Extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus extend the thumb. Extensor digitorum extends fingers two through four and extensor digiti minima extends finger five. The supernator muscle has a proximal attachment at the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and the proximal ulna and a distal attachment at the proximal radial shaft and its action is to supinate the forearm. Brachioradialis lies superficially on the anterolateral forearm. It has a proximal attachment on the lateral humerus and a distal attachment on the distal radius and its action is to flex the forearm. The thenar eminence is a group of muscles located in the hand at the base of the thumb. They include the abductor pollicis brevis, the flexor pollicis brevis, and the opponent's pollicis. Like they are named, they abduct the thumb, flex the thumb, and also oppose the thumb and little finger.